so you don't wanna talk to them. Plain and simple. You are talked out. You're giving them, like I gave them already what, what they need to hear. And now it's my turn to hear what I want from them. Will they, are they going to do it? Um, this is giving like the either judgment is to cross to the next level of the relationship to reconcile, make things work, pass is pass. Let's, you know, let us, you know, let's make it happen this 2024. So there's a big decision that you want from them because for you, your mind is set. You are a fixed sign after all. Okay, Taurus, welcome to my channel. I'm Sal. I do the readings here every day for your career, your finances, and your relationship. I also do say Dear Astrology. Right now, I'm not doing any readings, um, but you can download their app, Eat Read Love, available in Apple and Android. It's down there. You can check it out. Um, and then when I announce stuff, you'll get the first news, okay? So, and I have big announcements also for our winter sale. It's, okay, I'll, 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 it's exciting. It's the last day. Okay, so let's discuss first the Four of Cups. Okay, so in your situation right now, you're telling your person that, listen, how many times I have reached out? How many times I've tried to talk to you? You refuse. You even give me the cold shoulder you know, it's not about them asking time. It's more of like, I don't know, I'm not sure. It's a maybe. It, was, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't defined, okay? And this is where the conversation keeps going around in circles for you. So they got used to this. You got used to also reaching out to them. Okay? Venus is 28 degrees right now in your seventh house. And we love Venus in the seventh, of course. It's the car of a relationship. And, you know, you're going to try to make it work no matter what. Okay, so you have this energy towards your person that it's a like, okay, you know, at least I want to hear it, you know. Now, you do have a judgment already, and then you have the Ten of Cups. You want proof, not proof of life, but proof of love. The Ten of Cups, you guys could have kids, um, or you're in a long-term relationship, and things hasn't been the same. So you find it like, what is wrong? Why are you not how it was before? And people do change, I understand. And we go up and down in life, right? You're not judging them for that. What you're asking them is like, if you're not going to tell me what's wrong, then, you know, it's like, am I, did I do something? You know, like, we got we to gotta have an honest conversation because you love them and they love you before. But the way that they treat you, far from it, four of cups. So now you come in in a five of wands. Well, you're coming from that. Your person expresses to you a lot of excuses, a lot of things that you probably didn't even know. And then say, like, wait, I didn't know this is how you feel. I didn't know that's what you think. So it's more of like a can of, op a can of open worms, worm can. I forgot what it's called. Okay. Pandora's box, there you go, it's easier. So as soon as your person shows to you how complicated they think this is, when before it wasn't, then now you're saying, it's like, okay, probably you can discuss that. But you feel that this is just buying of time and excuse. So I'm not sure where you guys went, went, uh, wind up with that discussion. I'm just saying, okay? I'm really not sure. Okay. Now, okay, here we go. In your situation, you, you basically would try to isolate yourself first. Hermit with the Seven of Wands, I'm not going to listen to this. This is a conversation that we had before. And I don't understand why you're talking about it. And I thought we already patched this up. Seven of Wands is restriction. You work hard to be where this relationship is. The Hermit is seeking answers from the Divine, which means like you're probably praying right now and asking for clarity because your person is confusing you. Because for you, there was nothing wrong. Everything was fine. And you didn't, you don't understand whatever the five of ones is. And other people are involved. Other people. When I say other people, it's not third party like that. Um, it's other factors in their life that they have to deal with. That for you, of course, like we all have our own cross to carry. I don't bring it to the relationship. So if you're going to bring it, I don't understand. Okay. 
Now, your person, Judgment, King of, King of Pentacles, and the Death card, well, you're the King of Pentacles as a Taurus, your person decides to end this. You probably didn't understand. Mars is in the 8th, ruler of your 7th, unpredictable. You've seen this in the previous reads. Mars in the 7th, of course, we, it, it's its own home, but it's in a Jupiterian house. It is in Sag. It's not combust. Oh, it's still combust. Yes, it's two more days combust. So it's the relationship is in. It's very weak right now. It you lost patience here, or your person has lost patience, and it's cutting. Of course, it's an end, and that's where the death card is coming. Either it's an ending of a problem, or it could be the end of this relationship. Hi, I'm Sal. That's Sal too. Four years ago, zero money and zero love. I went to my healing though, and I found it a little secret. Double Piao helps. This is our specific crystals that is made to manifest love and protect your money. Go get yours at ichiglove.me. So this is what you're facing is the end. And I also want to tell everyone that, uh, how to call this, with the death card, it's a transformation. Today is also the last day of our um, winter sale collection, so 50% off on our stacks, and of course, we have huge collection of our Piao. It is the year of the wood dragon, and I was at our store here at Eatry Love, our jewelry store. If you're not familiar with Eatry Love, we are a jewelry brand, and I saw, you know, I have a few pieces of jade pendants, okay? So if you purchase anything from our forever collection, if I'm not mistaken, you will see it because it's our forever, forever fortune collection, forever fortune collection. You get this free jade pendant, okay? Now, I only have a few. I think I have like somewhere around 10 when I counted because I saw, I saw it. I was like, oh, you know, I'm going to give a, a you know, giveaway. So make sure to check it out. We do free shipping in the U.S. Uh, I feel like, uh, you know, everybody in across the world knows already we ship to more than 80 countries. And at the same time, it has a free classes for our Piao collection. So make sure to check it out. Now, what is jade good for? Backtrack all my videos, thousands of it. If I'm not wearing one, you tell me. Okay. Wealth, finances, of course. For the if you put it in your um, chest region, which is the heart area, it opens up the heart chakra to receive love, of course, to attract love, healing, of course, because green is the color of our heart chakra. Now, green is also color of mercury, which is good for business. Okay, so. Trust me, I wear this one not for the hard job, <laughs> for business, okay? So, um, of course, you know, it can be good for anybody who's into social media also. Mercury rules are, uh, you know, our natural third house. If you're like a social media influencer like that, if you do a lot of business dealing, go for it. Okay, color green. You know. Do emerald also though. <laughs> emerald is quite expensive also. Woo! So... Taurus, it does look like, mm -hmm, look at this, and I said, it's like, oh, it's it over, maybe it's not, maybe it is, maybe it's not. Mm. It's actually a symbol of Mercury, right there, Hermes, right? Symbol of communication, healing, of course. Now, the Two of Cups is someone extending, and I, I look at it coming from the Ten of Cups. Love between the two of you is pretty much strong, Okay. Now, what else I can see in your chart? I'm not done yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Got logged out. Okay. Now, the, the Two of Cups over here, okay, this is showing now that in your situation, it's more of like, probably, your person would ask for forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Sun card. Soulmate. Do I have cup soulmate? The sun is a soulmate. A lot of people would ask, how do we know if a person is our soulmate? I don't know your chart, but just to give you like, this is a 0.1% of how it can be explained. Um, uh, normally we see it from Rahu and K2 because it is, uh, you know, our past life karma is K2 and Rahu. Rahu is our future, but they're always one together. So let's just say you have a Rahu in Taurus, um, and they have Moon in Taurus, and they have a Venus in Taurus, and that explains it. If your person, of course, um, has a Sun also. So the significant, like the luminaries, yes, 
uh, it's if it's in the same sign. So same thing as K2. If you have K2 in Taurus, and then you are, but that's debilitated, you know, Rahu and Scorpio is debilitated, uh, not debilitation, but it, you know, it kind of gets a little bit challenging. So that's when you know that you guys do share um, a significant past life connection. Now, of course, with Tarot, Two of Cups in the Sun card, that's already indicative of the soulmate. Um, but, you know, further, you would need to know, of course, um, in the chart. Now, uh, I feel here, of course, there's a sense of need for you to know that. And if it's at something that validates it, Two of Cups, the Sun with the Ten of Cups, just with the Tarot, it is definitely your soulmate. Okay? And Death card is from your past life. Okay. And you will, ex you will experience also the same pool because it's from your ancestors. It's from the past life and there is something familiar with this person. Mm -hmm. And that's the sign in the Two of Cups, a binding. Okay. And it will also normally get its ups and downs. So we're going to look into your soulmate. There's an extended reading to this in the description. It will say Taurus extended. Your person comes back. When I say 8 goes to a 2, they do come back. Now, this is yet to be proven and I don't know, but I this and I haven't tried it. I'm just letting you know, you can try it on your own, okay? From what I heard or what I read, this is not gossip. They say that either if you're trying to break a okay, certain frequency to connect with a soulmate, which I will tag in the description. Um, I think I still have. You can try it on your own. It's too strong for me even to try. Um, Moldavite or Libyan Desert Glass. We do have pendants that is Moldavite. Okay? And because it breaks barriers. It is too strong. Okay? I'll tag it in the description box below. We have Moldavite. Um, few, of course, because it's hard to get it now. So if you're trying. You got a uh, Eight of Cups here, Queen of Swords with the Knight of Swords. I'm seeing here your person rushes, but you're more like, no. What do you want? What do you want from me now? Ooh. All right. Well, they want a lot of things from you. I can tell you that. And they can't let go. Maybe a Capricorn or a Leo. You got a Scorpio. Ooh, or a Libra. Your person wants something, and I'm not sure if you're gonna give it to them and how it's gonna pan out. Let's see what happens next. Link in the description box below for extended reading. Hold on, hold on. You're here already and I have a free class for manifestation of love and money. And if you are serious, there's a free class in the description box below. Join me and learn more on how to manifest with a real gold pee out.